My name is Brandy Peters, and so I did not finish high school, and so I decided to go back and get my GED. Got my GED, and so when I went back to ICC for the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program, again, there was some online classes offered, but since I had never done it, I still just went to class like every day instead of doing anything online. Now, when I first started thinking about the classes, like am I gonna be able to access those? Um, if you can access your email, you can access those classes and the schools want you to be successful. Talking about support, like I really think that I had a lot of support from my occupational therapy assistant family here. Um, Dee Lominick is the, one of the instructors. She's over the OTA program and she is amazing. When I got pregnant with my daughter, I was on the wrong path, of course, or not necessarily the wrong path, but I was just not taking a path of least resistance for sure. You know, when you go through things like that and you're young, you don't think that you can do anything. You don't think, I'm smart enough to do this or I'm good enough to do this. And if you just start applying yourself, you realize that you have a lot more to offer than you ever thought. So that's what I say, like just don't give up and be strong and um, continue to push no matter what. Like I remember one time, Dee Dee or Miss Lominick, <clears throat> we were learning what it was like to actually be a hemi, have hemiparesis or hemiplegia, like after a stroke you couldn't use your hand, your dominant hand. And it's just amazing how all those cells and everything just go together. So everything, that's how I knew that I wanted that the profession was for me too. All that, learning about the body and then learning how to help people, it was amazing.